Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Luke chapter 22, verses 39 through 51. He came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, Remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood, falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, is it with a kiss that you are betraying the Son of Man? When those who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, No more of this, and he touched his ear and healed him. Let us now come together in a time of prayer now. Let us pray together. Almighty God, everything that you do reveals your glory and majesty. Open our eyes to see what you're doing in our lives. Let us marvel at your good gifts and your wise provision. We cannot comprehend the number of blessings that you pour out on us from day to day. As we are reminded of you every day when seeing your amazing acts happen in our own lives, we pray that you would fill our hearts, our minds, and our souls with your spirit today. Transform us, Lord, and make us more like you. Through Jesus Christ, we pray, our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.